Hey, welcome back. So in the, today's video, we want to cover uh, the Altel KM100 and that new AT100 chip and then Volkswagens. Um, so I will have links below on how to use the KM100 and clone that plugged into the vehicle. But let's see if we can clone that chip and swap it out as we've done with other vehicles. Um, I will have links below for related videos and also the comparison of Altel and X-Horse. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and look at this standard um, transponder key. It has that chip in there. It's usually a glass chip. Um, let's stick it in there. And we're gonna click on read. We are connected with Wi-Fi. Let's read this. Let's make sure we get it in there. And we are looking at a 48. Let's click clone. And again, we do not see a 48 we have Volkswagen that's like the new type that's cool that replaces like that X-Horse B chip um, and then we have that one again that's not gonna work nope we clicked the wrong one so we don't have anything to clone that dang let's go this is gonna be an older type of flip key uh, aftermarket one but let's go ahead and see if this is even clonable so we're looking, we're looking. It's a 48 as well. Can we clone it? Negatory, nine. And for shits and giggles, we have a factory spec. There's your information there. Volkswagen, and this is like for the, the newer, like the 13s, 14s, and stuff like that. Uh, let's stick it in and let's read. And once again, 48. Can we clone it? Cool. No, unfortunately not. But let's see if we can click on. So if we went to a mobilizer, and let's see if I can find that just to show you. I will have links below in the in description on how to clone these chips. How to clone these chips. So look at Volkswagen. And let's see. Let's do manual. So let's do Mexico and Jetta. See if we can find that option for you. And if we look at hot function, okay, not able to find the vehicle. A mobilizer. 